my name is Paul Bogaars. I'm an artist and photographer. Every day is different in my work. I, when I enter uh, the room here, I never know what I'm going to do. In my former work, which was only photographic work, what was already then the case is that I collect from all kinds of uh, um, uh, sources uh, my materials that could also be from flea markets or, or uh, but also from uh, from the wood uh, uh, like uh, branches and uh, pieces of uh, wood and stones and, and uh, but also um, objects that I uh, come across. Well, one of the favorite materials um, that I use is um, papier mache. It was by accident that I uh, uh, that I discovered it, because I um, I was interested in um, uh, the African masks and uh, and statues, and I wanted to try to make uh, a, a mask, and then you think of papier mache. Um, but it seemed it, it turned out to be a very very um, rich and uh, useful material that I, 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 I it's it's one of my favorite materials now. Um, you can attach it to 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 any material, uh, and, um, and then it is also um, you can you can mold it and sculpt it in any form. For me, it's a very it's a very convenient material um, to work with. When I started with my work, um, what I did was not at all in fashion. What you saw in um, a photo exhibition in that time uh, were mainly uh, large prints uh, made uh, um, with a technical camera on large negatives, um, mainly of landscapes or uh, cityscapes, very detailed. Uh, registered in a, in a rather objective way. Well, this is um, one of my older works. It has a shaped frame, which I made around two um, photographs. One of the photographs, this, this uh, larger one, is made by myself, and the smaller one is um, collected from a, from a book. Two worlds are combined and, and, and in some way collide also. Extended photography is a term uh, which I invented to describe um, this new direction that I, uh, that I put my work into and it starts from photography and it's, 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 uh, it often starts with literally a photograph. In my former work I combined it with other images, for instance Im other uh, photographs, um, but now I extend it with um, um, objects and uh, matter. It's ex extended in material but also literally extended in space. In the classical photography it's not looked upon as an object, it's, it's more, it's, it's more um, a window. But a photograph is, can also be an object. And for me it has always been an object. So um, this is already packed to be transported to, um, to a phone. Um, and this is the work titled Of Infinite Height. It consists of about a uh, hundred uh, figures uh, made of uh, papier mache um, and with on top um, a, f a photograph. And uh, they are all um, um, standing looking up to the same point. And um, 
I don't know where they are looking at, but they are looking at something um, out of sight, uh, above us. Uh, this was a glamour portrait of, I think uh, it must be uh, an actress or a singer. Um, she's looking up and um, um, we are used to portraits that are looking at you or uh, looking somewhere in, in, in the distance, but not not this way. This this is very uncommon um, to look very specifically at one certain point that we, you don't see as as a as a viewer. And I think that is um, fascinating. That fascinated me. So I started to collect these um, this kind of images and. Um, and I, I, I photograph them myself also. So more than half of this collection is uh, photographed by myself. For instance, uh, at the train station, people who are looking up to, uh, to a sign. What I also uh, photographed many times were um, religious figures and statues in, in churches, for example, and these, uh, these uh, uh, the Virgin Mary and other uh, saints who are, uh, of course, in a religious way looking up at something that is higher than, uh, than we are. My life in the bush of ghosts. I think it's a perfect title for um, the exhibition I borrowed it from the famous uh, music album of David Byrne and Brian Eno and they borrowed it as well from a novel by a Nigerian uh, author Amos Tutuola and he described in this novel, it's a typical African uh, story of a man who gets lost in the bush of ghosts, literally. But the, the music album that was a very influential album because it must have been the first uh, album where samples and especially samples from voices were used in uh, music. And so it, 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 it nearly all consists of found material combined with uh, original sounds that David Byrne and Brian Eno made themselves. So the, the way of working is um, practically the same as my, my own way of working. That's one uh, thing. And the other um, uh, is the, the atmosphere of the, this music. It's the same as what I try to create in my work. The word ghosts, um, I think, is also very interesting uh, to me. I have always tried to um, give form to the invisible, also in my earlier photographic work. And in a way, you could say that is what any artist uh, does. So you, you find a form for something that has no form. You could call that a ghost. So a ghost is uh, anything that is invisible, in my uh, definition. And uh, so you can also call memories or uh, characteristics of personality that could also be ghosts. If you call everything that is invisible a ghost um, then you you could create something uh, to materialize the ghost and that is what I try to do in my work. I have always been interested in this uh, African culture and the African um, way of um, making making images. What struck me first in this uh, African sculpture was the, was the um, the power of expression uh, that these masks and uh, and statues have. Secondly, I got very uh, interested in the way of thinking and 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 the the background of the making of these uh, sculptures. And it is all about a materialization of uh, invisible forces. Uh, to me, that is essential for, uh, for art. 
So that is also uh, something that I try to do myself. The sculpture is alive, so it is never finished, but it is uh, always uh, demanding uh, to add power to it, to, to, to stay alive. Because there is a ghost uh, in it, and it, it, it requires energy. For me it's a solution for the question uh, when a work is finished. Because it's always a difficult question for me. When, when is it something finished? And I think um, a very good answer could be, well, it's never finished. As long as I'm alive and I am um, showing the work in different exhibitions, it could change all the time.